This is a quick guide on how to get your controller, PS3 controller, our PS4 controller, I believe, running for, while working with Dark Souls 2. So you need to download this. I'll put a link to that in the description. And just extract that. And you want this stuff, obviously. And you need to find the correct little location, which for me is this. And it should be same view pretty much and then you want to paste it in like so run as administrator yes program it's not found requires a function yes search uh, yes searching done Finish and that should be that, I believe. And do 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 save. Then we are going to launch Dark Souls 2 and hopefully it works. Ah, lo and behold, it works. You cannot see this, I don't think. No. <laughs> That's convenient. I've got a black screen. Hang on, let me just switch that over. I'm just going to put this bit of footage in. I don't know why I want to like, show my control to the microphone or something there, but this is just showing that it works. I don't know if it's really proof, but. It's proved to me. So, just. No, I can't bother doing a new character right now. The. I'll find I'll just skip through things. And. <laughs> skip. Right, just cover everything. I don't. <laughs> okay. Uh... Yep. Same controls as my PS3 is. So, this. It works with the PS3 controller. I'm not sure it works with the PS4 controller. I might have probably doors, but I don't own a PS4 controller. So I don't know. That's my attempt at proof, and I hope that helps you. Um, we haven't mapped stuff to Vingy yet. There we are. Hope that helps you. And my PC is very loud. Okay. I hope people who want to play with a PS3 controller and possible PS4 controller can now play. Which I will be doing because I'm not too fond of PC controls. In the better, but not perfect. Okay.